Did you know that improper assembly of your 3D printed Dummy 13 can lead to irreversible damage? Let's avoid those costly mistakes. Today you'll learn how to properly assemble the 3D printed Dummy 13 and his dog. We'll be ensuring that all parts fit perfectly and function effectively. I struggled with assembly the first time. I broke a few parts and missed a couple of critical steps. This led to my frustration and a lot of wasted time. All right, I just wanted to show how to assemble these 3D printed dog and how to assemble this 3D printed dummy robot. These are pretty cool, pretty excited to have them. I got them as a gift for my daughter for Christmas. She loves doing stop motion animation and she loves drawing. And so these will work out amazingly for any of her stop motion videos or anything that she wants to do with these, using them as figures to draw. She really wanted a dog to be able to get its body positions a little bit more correct and just help her guide her. In this video, I'm going to show you some important uh, assembly key points so that way you minimize how much breaks because I broke a few of these parts and so I just want to really reduce the amount of struggle. So here we go. All right, so right here we've got our Dummy 13 version 2 and this is the frame and then we have our Dummy 13 armor. So here it does come with several different versions for hands. And so I'm gonna get these all snapped out and then start assembling. All right, so this is the foot and these are the toes and they are gonna snap together right here. So just make sure that the flat and the flat are both in the correct location and then just snap them in. So you can tell which one was built on the base plate. And this one has a slight angle to it. And so you just snap it together like that. And those are the feet. These are going to be the ankles for the feet. They're wider here and so then they'll just go in and then they are going to press into this location just like that. And now this is going to be your shin and this is just going to pop into this joint right like this. And then you can put your shin guard armor over it and you just want to slide it on kind of push it down a little bit and it's going to snap into place. Same thing with this leg. So just make sure that you put the calf in the back of the foot. Kind of just give it a little press and it locks it into place. And these are going to be your knees right here. So when you clip these on, they're going to go on from this side and they'll just snap in just like that. They're just coming straight in. We have plenty of room right here. Just press it and then snap right in. And then you're going to put your knee on here after you get your thigh connected. So this you are going to install just like that. Just presses on. You're going to slide your armor on. It's going to snap into place and then clip the thigh to the knee just like that. And you can put your kneecap on just like that. Now you've got your leg. Just press that in just like that. Make sure that it's in all the way. Give it a good press down. Come in from the back side here. Just press that and put your kneecap on. Now these here are your hip covers and they're gonna slide on just like this. But we're gonna get this joint on here first. So we're gonna use this three ball joint. We're gonna snap that on, slide that on just like that. So there is a size difference that you're gonna wanna make sure you pay attention to. So you're gonna wanna use the smaller one. That way it fits around this arch better. And then this will just clip on here just like that. And next part, we're gonna work on the waist and it's gonna be this part. And we're gonna have the, and that's where this piece will come in. And it just slips in here just like that. And then it connects just like that. So then this is gonna be the chest piece and it just slides right over top of this. The 13 goes in front. So this is gonna go up just like this. These squares are all gonna line up. This chest plate is going to slide over top and there are little hooks right here on the inside and they're gonna fit down right here in this groove and connect together. Kind of locking it all in place, just like that. Now your chest is all complete. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this back on to the waist here, this shoulder joint on here. And uh, we'll connect it. We'll connect this shoulder joint on. It will snap in place. Connect another shoulder joint. 
snap in place. And then these are going to also be part of your shoulder to bicep. So it'll snap in, snap in. Now this is your bicep and it's gonna clip in like this. Here's your other bicep and that clips on just like that. These are your shoulder pieces and they just will clip on just like this. So this next part, you'll want to slide this over top of your bicep armor. And this you wanna be careful with it because it does have these couple thin spots and it does just kind of snap right in place. And now when you put your elbow on, you're gonna just clip it on just like that, but make sure that the open end is the back of the elbow just like this. And this here, this will be the, and this will just slide in just like this. Make sure it's like this. So this just slides in like this, and that's where you want it. And then just clip it right in just like that. And now you've got your arm in place. Your next is going to be your neck. This is just going to slip over just like this. This is gonna slip down into this joint here. This is going to press up inside the head just like this it's going to snap in place and then this then this will clip on just right here so the most important thing that you want to be careful with when putting this together is this forearm right here because it can slip down over top this ball and it's too big and so it will crack the plastic and this here is so that if you're doing like stop motion animation. This will fit right in here. And then you can just clip on whatever hands you want. Just make sure you don't push on the forearm. When installing the hands, I figured out that it was easiest to just put the arm on the table and then push down on the hand. That's gonna protect your forearm the most and it is going to help stop you from having to hold on to that forearm arm which is the most likely thing that's going to crack. So this did come with an extra pair of knees and then it does come with open hands. So if you wanted to, you could print a sword or something or a gun, have them hold on to that. And then it does have closed hands, fully closed for like punching. All right, so here is the dog. So we'll get this thing all set out. Now this one is particularly important to pay attention to the shoulder pieces. These can crack right around this area here, so be careful with that. And then these are able to crack super easy. They do not clip on, they have to slide on. So just be aware of that. And it does matter which direction they go. As you can see here, this, is, this side is different than this side, so be aware of that. And you've got four different shins here. So they all need to slip on just carefully. So I'll just put together the tail real quick. These are just gonna snap on just like this. This is the tail. This is gonna be your chest, your head. Here's your foot, here's your dog's ankle. And that'll just snap together just like that. So these do have a little bit of give, so they're pretty easily able to rotate. All right, there you go. All four feet are now complete and you are going to use these here as your connectors. And so these will just slip in just like that. They just press right in. They just press in nice and snug. Another one here and one more, just like that. All right, here's the dog's legs. Here's the dog's shins. And they're gonna go on just like this. Now, when you put this guard on, you wanna make sure that this area is at the knee, not the ankle. So this area right here needs to be at the knee and not the ankle. And so you're gonna slide this in just like this, and that's how it that's how it fits on, just like that. If you try and go from the other direction, you run the risk of cracking the shin because it creates this tension right here when you try and put it in, and then these will break. So you wanna be able to slide it from this direction. And then this will be at the knee, and this will be at the ankle. And this is goes on the outside of the leg, so just like that. Now for this end, you just snap this on for your back legs, if that's what this is. You put this hook on, and then this is where the knee is gonna go, just like that. And then this is gonna hook on right here. This is gonna be the hip joint. This is just going to slip on over top of the hip joint. And so this is another one that is really tricky. So just be cautious of that. And you want it to be on the outside, same as this. So just like that, this is how the back legs will be. Now this is another one that is prone to breaking. 
and so you have to be really cautious of that because this area right here can snap off pretty easily and so I kind of get everything lined up and then I... Now right here I'm about to break this so make sure that you put the dog's waist area on first and his butt on last. Just... Oh, broke it off. So I'll have to glue this on. And when you get this on, you just want to make sure you press it all the way down so that it's all the way on there. So for the front legs, you just want to put this on with the knee facing backwards. And then just be super cautious of the shoulder. So make sure this is on the outside. This is going to clip on right here. I'm going to have to switch the feet around. I don't know why I struggled with that. It was just press right on just like this and the shoulder just clips on. And so then when putting this back on, all you have to do, uh, oh my gosh, be careful. You don't want to crack this. This PLA does not give, it's not flexible. So just be really careful. I just cracked it right there. I'm just going to super glue it. Now this is the neck. And so this will go on here just like this. It does have a spot where it has to line up. There's a groove right here and there's a peg right here. And so this does have to line up correctly. And that tells you the orientation of it. The dog's neck and head just slide in just like this. And it's gonna snap together just like that. And then this is gonna clip in just like that. Do have some more length of tail. I did have some extra pieces printed off, but not of the ones that actually broke. And there it is. The dog's all assembled. I'm gonna glue this butt piece back on it. No harm, no foul.